What's up, everyone? We're back with more Great Ace Attorney. Let's kick it off. With ellipses, apparently. Because that's how we do things here. That certainly was a long trial. Ah, uh, yes, it was. Honestly, was that much longer than the than the first case? I don't know, honestly. Your first ever trial on foreign soil and your first victory. It was a wonderful performance. My heartfelt congratulations. And to you, Miss Sasato. Thank you for your assistance. I, I suppose we should be happy. The trouble is, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. But isn't it Ron? I mean, who is actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know that. The sole aim of the defense is to obtain a verdict that exonerates the defendant. You carried out your duty to perfection. Aye, that you did. Or you. Both of you. Mr. McGilded. Ah, oh, and that girl was with them too. Well, it seems the stories are true. Oh, what stories? About the six enormous fireworks they do be letting off when there's a verdict of not guilty. I'm sure you must have seen them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Oh, they're sure spectacular for you, aren't they? Yes, definitely. I'd heard it was a sight to behold, and to be sure it was. And I'd you to tank, I suppose, for having an opportunity to see it. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure I really did anything. Especially considering I tried to throw you under the bus at the end. What on earth are you saying, fella? How do I walk out of there a free ma- How did I walk out, out of there a free man, then? I don't think it was so much thanks to me as down to your planning. Oh. You're a straight-talking fella, aren't you? I must say, you had me stray in the head there once or twice. But you're young and headstrong. <laughs> ah, tis water under the bridge. Congratulations, Mr. McGilded, on having your name cleared. But nothing's resolved. Not truly, at least. There's only one thing that matters to me. Oh? I... They've all seen that I didn't do that odious and... They've all seen that I didn't do that odious and absan and deep. Tis grand, is it not? I suppose it is. Now the fine fellas of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and, so and wo sort out any wee details. They'll see it for what it is. They'll get to the truth. Mm. I have absolute faith in them, so I have, after all. I do be providing a good number of their wages with all the taxes I pay. <laughs> it's not that funny. I feel like Ryanosuke says that a lot. He always goes... He always... Like, he does it at least once a case where he goes, It's not that funny. So then... As we agreed beforehand, 1,000 guineas for your troubles, fella. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't possibly accept that much. Ara, be white, be whist. You're a humble people, are you? You from the East. Well, if you insist. But have this, still and all. You deserve a reward. Uh, did I, what, what voice did I give the bailiff? Mr. Magnus McGill did. Just give him a very... Everything is ready, sir, if you'd like to follow me into the courtroom. Huh. What's this about? Into the courtroom? What's this, officer? Too sooner than I was led to believe. I hope it's not inconvenient, sir. There were some changes to the schedule. Well, I must be making tracks now. It is time for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? They're gonna examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. 
I asked if I could be present for it myself. They're going to examine it again? Now? <laughs> Naturally, I'm under no obligation to take part in any more of this matter now. But as an upstanding mem member of London society, I do be doing my part, though, to best to help where I can. Tis a gentleman's duty, so it is. So then, fare thee well. Twas an absolute pleasure meeting yous. I hope you have a whale of a time while you're studying here in Great Britain. See you later, man. And there he goes, a free man. For better or worse. Oh, and now we're just left with her. Oh, I forgot she was here too. Uh, please don't shoot us. Don't move! Whereas I want to say get a, get a move on, she really does take forward to load that thing. Miss Lestrade, would you mind putting that thing down? You're a grown-up. Sorry? And I eat gro all grown-ups. And I eat all grown-ups. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, who are you? Naughty naughty running off like that. Is this some kind of picnic? Who's this little girl now? What is this music as well? It sounds like a sophisticated carnival music or something. And taking that with you as well. I was looking forward to the trial run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Wait, she so she stole that from you? Is that what you're saying? Ha! Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, do you want to play? You won't beat me. <laughs> um, excuse me, but who are you? Oh, good day to you. I'm, well, the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. The inventor? Well, normally smoke grenades are so dull, don't you agree? White, white, and more white. If you have to be shrouded in smoke, it could at least be a pretty color, I thought to myself. Do we have to be shrouded in smoke, though, at all? I just took my eyes off it for a moment whilst I was changing onto a different omnibus and she pinched it. L luckily, I fit it with a telegraphic beacon. A tele what so what I have no idea what this girl is talking about. Anyway, you're coming with me now. Back to my laboratory. What? What for? To apologize, of course, silly. To my technician. What? You mean, say sorry? You must say sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. An adult? <laughs> I don't listen to no adults. Come along, then. Follow me. She's pointing a bazooka at you. I don't think... Yeah. Fine, have it your way. Oh, good. You see, I knew you'd want to do the right thing in the end. I'm fairly sure that what she wants is to not get shot by that massive gun of yours. We'll be leaving now, then. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry for the fuss. Man, I wish I could- my voice could go higher pitch so I could do a wider array of voices. Because I feel like my voice for Gina and that girl were too close together, almost. She was a lively one. Well, do you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now, too? Yes, you're right, but... Where to? Oh! We haven't had time to find a place to stay, and no sooner had we arrived in London than we had to rush here. All our traveling cases are still with the bailiff. Hmm... I was originally planning to spend today in search of lodgings, but at this late hour in the day, I'm afraid we may be out of luck. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. If the worst comes to worst, I've heard of a lovely park where you could spend the night. Let me guess, is it McGilded Park? Please tell me you're not thinking of McGilded Park. <laughs> Yet again, I share a brain cell with Ryanosuke. 
I know it may be a little chilly this time of year, but our youthfulness will see us through. I'm not so sure about that. I think a midwinter London night will freeze a young person solid just as easily as an elder one, as an elderly one. Oh dear, that doesn't sound agreeable. Oh, don't cry. Now I'm starting to regret turning Mr. McGilda down. That 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely warm room or mansion. Oh well, we'll find somewhere, I guess. And so, the trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of our first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there were more trying times ahead, just as the Reaper of the Bailey had warned. The case was far from over. That's very foreboding. Cutscene? What's going on? Huh? Get the fire brigade! Water! Bring water! Quick! The omnibus is on fire? How did this happen? I don't know, sir. By the time I got here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> is someone inside? Oh, good God. There's, there's someone in there. Oh, that's the judge. This can't be. This can't be. Why did the feds, what would the prosecution like to explain what the shit is going on here? Maybe I'll try to do that type of voice next time we have a case. Also, yeah, what the shit happened there? The omnibus was on fire and someone was inside? Achievement unlocked. The Realm of the Reaper. What the hell happened there? Well, damn. Okay. Uh... I guess we just go straight into episode 4 from this. I can't think of much else to do. Episode 4, The Adventure of the Clouded Kokoro. Translation note, Kokoro means heart. I begin to think, Wilson, said Shilmos, turning his head languidly in my direction. Languidly. That there is more to this case than that which we have observed. Indeed, that there may be another part to this story that we are yet to discover. His eyes wandered following the steam rising from his cup of herbal tea. Herbal tea. Leading him to the distant memory of that snowy evening. Snowy evening. To the young lady collapsed on the pavement well, I guess it along is Briar winter. Road. And to the knife in her back. Yeah, knife in her back. Leading the soft glow of gas lamps, a most extraordinary scene had been set. So the second person we've seen stabbed with a knife. Fork. The curtain had risen silently on the insoluble mystery of our invisible killer. Huh. Well then. Oh. February 19th. 9.47 a.m. British Supreme Court. Lord Chief Justice's office. Yet again. Did you sleep last night, Mr. Narhoto? No, not at all. It was an enormous hotel, wasn't it? The rooms are so luxurious. I feel like we are staying in the palace. And with all the gas lights twinkling, it was brighter than day, even in the middle of the night. What about the enormous beds? After my time on the SS Buria, I wasn't going to waste a single inch of that space. Spent the entire night rolling from one side of the mattress to the other. Oh yes, it really was the sort of night you can only dream of nor normally. Except when I learned that we own that we owed three pounds for the rooms, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. Oops, sorry about that. The building was so impressive and the entrance so inviting, I just wandered in without thinking. 
In a lodging house in Japan, that sum of money would put a roof over your head for a whole year. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't help my tears when we were presented with the bill. Oh, I really am sorry. How much cash do we have left? Well, never mind. We must find some more affordable lodgings straight away, though. If we're not careful, our entire stipends will be used up in ten days or less. Oh, so we still have cash, at least. Oh, London is a scary place. Ah, good morning to you at this early hour. I assume that's the Chief Justice. Yep, there he is. Nice to see you again. Oh, yes, um, we are, well... Good morning to you, Lord Chief Justice. We have come to report on the outcome of the trial at the Old Bailey yesterday. Susato-san is amazing. She doesn't bat an eyelid, even in the presence of the imposing Lord Strongheart. Yes, I believe you had a very com comprehensive initiation into British courtroom practices. Oh, yes, it was very eye-opening. Thank you. And in accordance with your instructions, Lord Strongheart, Mr. Narahodo performed his duty to the end. Yes, I've already been apprised of events. You conducted a remarkable defense. You may consider the test passed. Oh! No longer are you a student from the Empire of Japan. You may henceforth claim to be a fully-fledged lawyer. My country is delighted to welcome young talent from such a remote eastern island. Um, thank you very much. So, I'm a lawyer now. Just like that. Now, in view of your next appointment, I have a fresh case in mind for you. I'd like you to take it on at once. I trust that won't be a problem. Another case already? Nothing trains a lawyer better than, practi than practical experience. I'm sure I don't sense dissatisfaction. Dissatis. Dis. Dissati. Dis okay, let me let me give this line a reread. I'm sure I don't sense dissatisfaction, do I? It's just that yesterday's trial ended unusually. I haven't quite come to terms with it. What's to come to terms with? The man was cleared. What more were you hoping for? I'm gonna see if I- I'm gonna see if I can alter it to the voice that we heard in that cutscene. The culpability of the defendant has not at the present time been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will, will not be required to proffer judgment. Well, Lord Van Zyke, it's been a pleasure, so it has. And as for you, my dear fella, I couldn't have asked for a better defense. <laughs> okay. I just can't help wondering if Mr. McGilded really was innocent. Mr. Norahoto! It's just that I never managed to ascertain the truth. And then the trial ended. Well, you needn't let it trouble you for a second longer. Sorry? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? Magnus McGilded passed away. What? Immediately following the trial. Was he the one that died in the omnibus? I didn't even piece that together. I was wondering who the hell was in there, but oh, it was him. Man's dead. Okay. Wow. So that was the last time we'll ever see him. I don't know whether to be happy or sad about that. No! What? M Mr. McGilded is... dead? Thank you, thank you, Doves, for your timing on flying away. I have 19 minutes and 41 seconds until my next engagement. Time enough to talk. Alright, let's hear it. Okay, but what if I present this to you? Lord Strongheart, may I show you this? Is he gonna do the same thing? Okay, he's doing he's doing the same thing he originally did. Never mind. I thought maybe it's a new case, maybe we'll get something different. 
Okay, straight to talking. I, I don't understand what happened. How can he be dead? After the trial concluded yesterday, there was a great commotion in the Old Bailey. As you'll presumably recall, an omnibus had been wheeled into the courtroom. Yes, of course, that was the scene of the crime which Mr. McGillid had been accused of. Precisely. Well, while the bailiff's attention was diverted by some other matter, the omnibus went up in flames. No. How could such a thing have happened? That is being investigated as we speak, but already... The police have identified a corpse found inside the charred shell of the carriage as that of McGilded. That's awful! The dude burned alive. God, that must be the worst. Fuck. That would be a horrible way to go. Oh my lord. The man must have slipped inside whilst the bailiff's attention was elsewhere. That bailiff really needs to pay more attention. There's some shady shit going on here. And how could that have happened? That is also being investigated as we speak. Yeah, investigated, sure. Somehow I don't- I doubt that fully. Thinking back now, immediately after the trial, Mr. McGilda did mention going back into the courtroom to look at the omnibus. Well, I must be making tracks now. It is time for the inspection. And we've already seen this, so I guess I'll just skip it. Saw it just a few minutes ago. An inspection of the omnibus. Not to my knowledge, I don't believe Scotland Yard had any intention of re-examining the carriage. But then who was Mr. McGilded talking about? Never mind that now, the Yard is making a thorough investigation. There's some corruption going on here. This matter is no longer any concern of yours, so leave it to the police. Poor Mr. McGilded. Congrats, we got our first victory. Oops, our client died like 10 minutes after the trial. Whoopsies. So, how did you find your first taste of our country's Supreme Court? Oh, well, um, I don't know, I mean, it was- wow. You're- you're a wordsmith. Unparalleled, Rinosuke. Mr. Har- Mr. Naruhoto means that the whole experience was steeped in this solemnity of the Great Britain's long history. It's really a world apart from our own judicial system in Japan, which is only a few short decades old. Wow, Sasado-san is such a way with words, unlike yourself. And you seem to have a way of failing to find the right ones. Wait, I said that in my head. She can hear me? The judicial system here is the most advanced in the world. Learn all you can. The most advanced in the world, is it? I don't know why I did a more high-pitched voice on that one. It was fortunate. That your fir very first trial was a simple affair. Simple? That was simple? As I believe I mentioned yesterday morning, it was a trial you couldn't lose. I don't mean to be contrary, Lord Strongheart, but... The case was anything but simple. The circumstances of the case were so incriminating, I was stunned when I first heard them. In fact, I'm still finding it hard to believe that we managed to get a favorable verdict. <laughs> It is something funny. No, no, my apologies. However, the fact is that you did receive the not guilty verdict you set out to achieve. That can only be attributed to exceptional talent, wouldn't you agree? Well, well I don't know about that. Just take the compliment, man. Well, never mind. You exceeded my expectations, I freely admit. That much, at least, is an undeniable truth. Which is precisely why I prepare prepared the new case for you that I mentioned before. What's going on? What was he going to say before? Well, figure that out some other time, I suppose. Let's hear about the new case. 
Could you please give us some more details about the new case you mentioned? Don't tell me it's a mur- Don't tell me. It's a murder and the trial starts in 10 minutes. Don't worry, it's nothing so alarming or quite so urgent as your last assignment. Can he read my mind? Why does everyone have the ability to read my inner thoughts? In fact, this case is completely different. Oh, I see. Did he just read my mind? Exactly! Yet again, I share the same brain cell with Rienosuke. Every time. That is to say, no one has died as yet. And the trial will not be today. There is plenty of time to research the case thoroughly. 23 hours, 43 minutes, and 19 seconds to be precise. Ah, uh, so the trial's tomorrow then. Is everything alright? Oh, yes. I'm just a little confused, that's all. Yesterday's trial was... Well, it's left me wondering if I'm really cut out for being a lawyer. Oh, Mr. Naruhoto. I don't know if I could face him in that courtroom again after Mr. McGill's trial. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. There was one similarity with yesterday's case. Once again, there is currently no one to advocate for the defense. Oh. If the situation remains unchanged, the trial will start tomorrow with the defendant unrepresented. And if that happens, I need not remind you of the inevitable outcome. The most terrible end awaits the defendant. Yes, that is right. Ah, uh, here we- Aw oh shit, here we go again. Your time is up. You will have to excuse me. I would advise you to begin making preparations for tomorrow's trial. After all, the clock is ever ticking. Yeah, you seem to have an obsession with time and clocks, good sir. Perhaps it's because you're on... You're counting down to your next victim's demise. Because you're the murderer. I don't know. There is now but 23 hours, 26 minutes, and 39 seconds until the court sits. Last time I mentioned the 23 hours, he said three was pl there was plenty of time. And one more thing, Mr. Norohoto. There is something I should like to ask you. Oh, um, what's that? Yesterday, you remarked upon something. Uh, that you intend to see through the will of your late compatriot, Mr. Asogi. What about it? I would be interested to hear what exactly you mean by that. Inside 34 seconds. Oh, well, um, Cosmo always used to say, you see, that he wanted to learn how the greatest justice system in the world works so he could change ours to in Japan. Now that he's gone, I'd like to work towards that myself. And there's another thing. Oh! Another thing. Continue. On the way here on the steamship, he said something to me. There's something very important that I have to do. Something very important? And what exactly would that be? He never had a chance to tell me. I suppose he would have done if he'd ever made it to Great Britain. You're out of time. Well, thank you for an enlightening discussion. Mr. Narhoto, what's all this about? Mr. Stoki never once mentioned anything of the sort to me. I urge you both to focus your attentions on the matter at hand. I've taken the liberty of summoning the police inspector in charge of the case. Is that the dude we saw in the cutscene at the end of the last case? He'll be able to apprise you of the details. How long has he been there? So, I wish you the best of luck and bid you farewell. Okay. There's something very important that I have to do. Kazuma-sama, what did you mean? I hope he figure it out eventually. I wish I knew, but honestly, he never told me. Anyway, we had better talk to the detective, don't you think? Yes, you're right. 
I hope I'm just imagining it, but I wouldn't say he looks pleased to see us at all. Oh boy. Let's hope he's not like Zykes. Or Zeke's. Zykes. I can just call him Zykes. Hello. Oh, hi, Mark. Are you eating? Um, could we trouble you? What type of voice do I give this dude? I feel like eventually I'm gonna have to start doing some wacky voices. Just so- just in order to- to remember them. This dude's wearing a lot of green and he has a mustache. Can I give him like a Luigi voice? What do you think? Ah! Um, um, lovely weather, isn't it? I think we heard his voice in that cutscene before, but I don't know if I can actually do anything there. Hmm. I can't go look back. I might, I might change his vo voice in between recordings when I can go back and look at that cutscene. What's that weather got to do with anything? Yeah, he sounds more deep pitched than Luigi. Uh, listen to me, you young Japanese upstart. Some fr some frippery about the weather doesn't get every English gen eating out of your hand, you know. Uh, but Sasato-san told me it was foolproof. I'm a busy man, a very busy man. There's a crime scene to investigate, but I'm here having to give the likes of you a talking to. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Can you imagine what the other officers there will be saying? Hmm? Haven't seen Gregson anyway, have you? No, he's too busy with the bigwigs these days. And all because of some bumpkin who's here on a jaunt from a country I've never even heard of. Hearing that rip- Hear that ripping around? That's my reputation at the yard, going to tatters. There's no need to rip us apart as well. I don't believe we've been introduced. This is Mr. Ryunosuke Narahodo, a defense lawyer. Hey. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Mr. Narahodo's judicial assistant, Su- Hey. It's lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? It is unseasonably fine, I grant you. London winters don't see a lot of sunshine. Unbelievable, how did she pull that off? Is it because she's pretty and we're not? So, ahem, Lord Stronheart has asked me to fill you in on the case. The name's Tobias Gr Tobias? Hey, hello, my, hello, my, my name friend. How are you? Shit, I found my kindred spirit. Maybe I should just give him my own voice. No. Nah, I'll still give him a voice. The name's Tobias Gregson. Inspector Gregson to you. I'm from Scotland Yard. Gregson? Um, Inspector Gregson? What's the matter of Sasato-san? Does this detective's name mean something to her? The last time a detective's name meant something to her, it was, uh... You know. Are you referring to me? Sholmes, you're not in the scene. Oh, sorry. Inspector, are you perhaps... THE Inspector Gregson? Oh, so you know of him too. You're acting like you know this man, Susato-san. Oh, Miss Susato. But he's a London detective. Oh, I do know him very well, in fact. Very well? Yes, he features prominently in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Oh, he's a character in that? Oh, in that publication. What's it called again? Ranst Magazine? That's right! Inspector Grant Gregson and Mr. Sholmes enjoy a wonderful, friendly rivalry. Really? You rival the great Mr. Sholmes? That's incredible! Oh, um, well, uh, I don't know about that. Mr. Mr. Sholmes isn't a professional like myself, of course, but he does come up with the goods from time to time. Mr. Sholmes is equally complimentary about you, Inspector, isn't he? You've earned his highest praise. Gregson is the pick of a bad lot of all the Scotland Yarders. Those were his own words. That's his highest praise? Well, Mr. Sholmes isn't particularly known for giving compliments, you see. 
that he is not, and, think, and thanks to that magazine, my name's known all over London town now. That's great, isn't it? Hmm. I have to admit that to start with, I was a little, well, flattered by all the attention. Everyone wanted to shake my hand and my reputation at the yard went through the roof. Well, that's wonderful. No, it is not. There's nothing more sinister than the man on the street. People are always looking at me now. They're whispering rumors about me under their breath, I'm sure. Rumors? Are, are you quite sure? He's changed since he started appearing in those stories. The fame's gone to his head, stuff like that. Gosh, do you really think people are saying such mean-spirited things about you? Like I said, they whisper, so I can't catch exactly what they're saying. But I know what folk are like. I'm sure that's what they're saying. As sure as eggs is eggs. Ba-da. Ba-da. Ba-da ba-da ba ba da ba da Sorry. This is new music and it's looped a few times and I've enjoyed it. I get the feeling this detective could be very hard work. Oh dear, perhaps the sudden rise to fame does change people. The case. So I'm about the case that the Lord Chief Justice mentioned before. Nothing to tell, really. As far as we're concerned at the yard, it couldn't be simpler. Oh dear, that probably means... That as far as we're concerned as lawyers, it couldn't be more complicated. I wish you were wrong about that, but I have a nasty feeling you're right. A young woman was walking along the pavement on Briar Road when she was stabbed from behind. Fortunately, it wasn't fatal, but she's still laid up in, hosp in hospital unconscious. That's despicable. What sort of coward would attack the poor woman from behind? I suppose you would have finished uh, whoever it was off with the Susato takedown, would you? That is neither here nor there, Mr. Narahodo. That's a new pose. Sassy. I like it. Brace her slow, Friyanosuke. You've angered her now. She's gonna throw me. Anyway, after something of a, whirl of a whirlwind investigation, the criminal was arrested. Damn whirlwind. He barely had time for a cup of tea after the incident took place, to be honest. So there must have been something left of the scene that led you directly to the culprit? Or perhaps a reliable witness who recognized the person in question. Let me stop you right there, you're wasting your time on this one. Sorry? There's nothing you can do, there's no way to help the bloke now. Why ever not? Simple. The prosecutor's been assigned to the trial tomorrow is Lord Baron Von Sykes. Yet again. Big shocker. No! Sounds like you've heard of him, then. Oh yes, we are very familiar with Lord Von Zykes. Believed to be the harbinger of death itself. The Reaper of the Bailey. You know, now that I think about it... He... After we got McGilded off Innocent, he said this was far from over. And they said that even if you win, that it's like a lost cause or something like that. That was said in the last case. I forget when, but someone said something to that effect. And they said that he, they said that he's cursed. What is it that anyone he goes against ends up dying one way or the other or something? Shot in the dark. Lord Baron von Zykes, who we faced in court only yesterday. Mr. McGill had told us about him before the trial, didn't he? When Van Zyke stands for the prosecution, they call the accused a sacrificial lambs. And in every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned. Yeah, see? Damned. This Reaper of the Bailey nickname. I suppose he's earned that because every defendant he advocates against is found guilty, is that it? Well, he didn't answer that with a yes, so I'm gonna guess it's what I said. Well, if that's the case, we should inform you, Inspector. Then in yesterday's trial against Lord Van Sykes, Mr. Narahoda secured a verdict of not guilty. 
Uh, and what of it? Oh, well, um, I think that means that even against the Reaper of the Bailey, it's not impossible to save the defendant. No, you really don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? What happened to that bloke in the end, huh? He's dead. Ah! Magnus McGilded came a cropper in that omnibus when it went up in flames. So you can't rightly say you saved the defendant, can you? Yeah. What are you saying? Look, if Van Zykes could get his dirt to stick on everyone, he'd be a miracle worker. But that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles. He works magic. Black magic. I'd have a good long think about that if I were you. Are we really supposed to believe that? I don't know. I think the reason that Magnus M McGilda died is not because of black magic. I think there's some there's some shady crap going on that led to him dying. Mm. Right, well, I filled you in on in as requested, and I'm very nearly out of chips. So I'll be heading back to the crime scene now. We're still carrying out a few investigations there. It was Briar Road, you said, didn't you? Where the incident took place. That's correct, ma'am. And if you head over to the holding cells, you can meet the criminal himself. You've branded him a criminal already? He's as good as, shaking like a leaf in a cell he is. It'll give you a chuckle, if nothing else. He's inmate 53. Speak to the jailer and he'll show you the way. Inmate 53. Thank you. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. So there's no helping anyone against the Reaper of the Bailey, they say. Is something troubling you, Mr. Norhoto? tell the truth, when I recall the trial yesterday, I can't stop myself from shaking. The idea of facing the Reaper in court again is... Well, if you think it's too much for you, there's no shame in turning the case down. That takes courage, too. But if the man they've arrested is innocent... You can well imagine he would be shaken like a leaf in his cell. And I, for one, wouldn't want the sight of that fun... wouldn't find the sight of that funny. So, if I'm honest, I'm still reeling from the shock of yesterday's events myself. And I'm really not sure if I'll be able to help this man, whoever he is. But I'd like to try. So I think I'm gonna make some inquiries. Will you help? Did you really think you had to ask? After all, I am your judicial assistant. Thank you. So then, shall we? Yes! Let's go! All right. Dun, lum, dun, 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 dun. Next time on Great Ace Attorney, we will go see the inmate and pre probably try to defend him, possibly. Adios, ciao, and bye bye. Signing off until next time. And finally, ja matane.